Hey, this is Jack Bourne, founder of AW Pro Tools, and today I'm going to build on a previous training where I showed you how to set up an intermediate waiting list so that when someone clicks a smart link, rather than moving them immediately, immediately to the next list, you can wait one or two or even multiple days before actually putting them on that list. And I told you I was going to show you how you could put this into use. <clears throat> so let me give you some con context. So let's say that you have a product launch, or sorry, a main list, and you're going to move them to a product launch sequence. And then the goal of these emails uh, down over, over here, actually, let me see if I can demo this here. So if you watch my cursor, these emails down here, uh, the goal there is to get them to the to visit the sales page. Now what happens if they visit the sales page or they visit the add to cart page, one of those, but they don't purchase? Well, one of the things that we could do is we could send them an email to to give them gentle nudges to come back and view the sales page or go to the order page to make a purchase. So let me let me not focus on all of the stuff up here and just get right down to the part where we give them that gentle reminder. This is a save, save the cart uh, type of campaign. So an abandoned cart is something that happens more often than you may realize where Ideally, we would like to think that anyone who goes to visit our sales page, and certainly anyone who goes to the, the order page where you enter in your information, they're there to place to, to place their order. They've already read the sales material. They're going to place their order. Well, not all the time. In fact, a lot of carts are abandoned. So if there's a way for you to bring people back to that order page or back to the sales page, then this can be a really powerful way for you to generate revenue that you're currently losing. You got them all the way to the one yard line and then they didn't make it into the end zone. So how do we do that? Well, what we can do, there's two different methods here. So the first thing is we have to get them onto, uh, onto this cart waiting list that you see right here. And there's two different ways to do this and it's really gonna depend on this. Do you have the ability to add page, sorry, do you have the ability to add the smart link code, web page code, to an order page? So in other words, if you're using something like Infusionsoft or One Shopping Cart, or maybe even you have your own built-in uh, order page on your website where someone enters in their credit card information, if you're using something like that where you can modify it enough to be able to add your own JavaScript, then you do have the ability to to put the code right here. And so then you can add people to this cart waiting list when they reach this page. And then I'll tell you what we're going to do next. If you don't have the ability to do that, let's say you're using PayPal or you could be using ClickBank or one of any number of solutions where you don't have the ability, you don't have the flexibility to put web page code, like a JavaScript snippet, on that order page, then what you're going to do is you're going to, instead of doing that, you'll create a smart link that will move someone to the cart waiting list when they go to visit the sales page. It's a little bit a little bit different, but still, we just want to get them to that cart waiting list once they've reached the point where we think that they're interested. Okay, so once we've got them on the cart waiting list, this is where there's actually going to be zero messages. Zero messages waiting, and the reason why there are zero follow-ups is because as I showed you last time what you want to do is you want to use an automation robot to wait one day or it could be two days and then move the subscriber <clears throat> um, move the subscriber to this cart abandon list so the cart abandon list is that that extra list where you're going to give them gentle reminders and nudges to come back and place an order and you're going to try to save the sale now what happens if they are on the sales page, they go to the cart page, and they purchase. Well, when they purchase, they go to the thank you page, and this is where uh, you can almost certainly control, because the thank you page will be on your website, you can control putting the web page code there. So you would put uh, an additional AW Pro Tools smart link, but using the web page code, that would move them to the buyers list. Okay, so follow with me how this would work. So let's say that let's say that we're just going to use a smart link right here and when someone clicks on one of these emails to go to the uh, sales page uh, we're going to automatically move them to the cart waiting list in this diagram i'm doing it on the add 
uh, to cart page, but just pretend that we're just doing it right away as soon as they visit the sales page. So they visit the sales page, we're going to add them to the cart waiting list as soon as they click. Okay, so now, uh, so now we've added them there. So once we've done that, uh, if they go through and make a purchase, then this web page code is going to pull them off of the cart waiting list immediately over here. Okay, so it's going to pull them off and pull them over there. Now, if um, uh, if they if they don't purchase, then a certain number of days will go by. Let's say one day will go by, and then they'll be added to the cart abandon list. And that's where you send out some additional follow-up emails automatically. Actually, Aweber does, and gently reminds them to come back and place their purchase. So that's how you can use the intermediary list to wait a certain number of days and actually use this in a way that can drive extra revenue for your business uh, by helping to rescue abandoned carts and recapture sales that ordinarily you would lose.